just four days before going to prison. Another immigrant YouTuber offered to pay the entire fine of the Swiss police justice thieves of 1,300 Swiss francs. And Gabriel, the Spanish YouTuber, drove me to him in the east of Switzerland, saved by YouTubers' solidarity among each other and the Internet's transparency of the 21st century against Swiss deceit, deception, organized state's thievery, Swiss police's Nazi blackmail and corruption based upon Swiss lies, as the entire history of Switzerland is based upon lies and big crime. And with 1300 Swiss francs I could have gone to the dentist, see a doctor, or buy some clothes, shoes and a warm jacket. But instead of that it all goes to the Swiss Nazi authority mafia, by the Swiss people and their fascist ideas of hatred and keeping people down through lies, terror and corruption. I have no income at all and live totally under the existence minimum. So what are you going to do next, Wissy? What criminal attacks will you throw next at me and my family, eh, Swissy? With what police violence, judiciary lies and plain Swiss mafia tactics Tactics to blackmail money out of our pockets will come next, eh, Swissy? You damn filthy criminals you are. And as I know what evil liar Swissy is, I wrote down the name of the bank employee, Dino Vakovic, in Schaffhausen on November the 6th at 1500 hours and 30 minutes, and having lots of witnesses paying that Swiss Mafia blackmail. I avoid Swissy, don't talk to them anymore. Four years house arrest, but they see confrontation, walk around with my picture, force themselves into our house all the time, threaten me at home, put guns on my head and want money, which I don't have, like a mafia. The Swiss People's Mafia, with their violent, corrupt police and nepotist judiciary. And all these criminal things they do, push me around, put guns on my head, threaten me, blackmail me, violent police, liar ju ju Swiss judiciary. And they push me around, hit me. And then they want to fine me for not behaving decently, indeed. So they said, well, you, were, you weren't behaving decently. But they put a gun on my head, they blackmail me, they lie things together, they push me around, which you can see on the video. And then they say, well, you are the immigrant, well, you did not behave decently. Which is an absolute lie, you can see it all here. They're just a bunch of mafia liars in this criminal country, the base of all evil. And if you try to open your mouth about it, well, then you go to prison. That's Switzerland. The uh, base of all evil. And this is uh, the Swiss Middle Ages, medieval Switzerland versus the 21st century uh, transparency. Thank you, YouTube. So this is the guy who, uh, who bought me out, who got me out, who paid the, uh, the fine, so I can continue to film. And this, this, these are the sort of paintings he made. And in 19, here it says, in 1997, uh, he made this painting about Fukushima. So long, long time before there was any Fukushima. The, um, the nuclear... Uh, disaster in Japan. So this is the type of guy who uh, who paid me out, like with the uh, uh, the Swiss terror, the uh, the prison sentence. And this is what he made as well. They put him in prison as well, which you can see here. So the guy is an immigrant as well. He's not Swiss. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm very glad he, uh, he got me out there. Uh, the Swiss really are like a mafia, you know, they want like money. Mafia comes around, they lie some stuff together. This is the Swiss Nazi justice system. 
and the Swiss Nazi police are just they are like a mafia, you know. Just 1,300 Swiss francs. And this guy, this beautiful man, he paid that for me. Thanks, bro. So this is another one of his drawings he made. You can see the chemtrail there. And this is the suppression, uh, the oppression by the, uh, with the shoe, like on a human being, by the chemtrails. Coming from the air. We're being squeezed, you know. So, thanks bro for helping me out so I can continue to do these sort of things. And I also thank some other people. So here in his Fukushima um, drawing, painting, what he saw like in 1997 already, I asked him then why is the eye growing out of a tree? And then he, uh, he told me as an answer, he said, well, because conscience is all over. In the trees, it's everywhere. Isn't that beautiful? So this is in Schaffhausen, this is the Rhine Fall. The falls of the of the Rhine. And here's a little castle. I'm gonna show you some obelisks. So here's the castle. From fifteen fifty 1546 and the coat of arms that's always interesting oh, this eyes is the Rhine mermaid the coat of arms Here two obelisks. There's a grave of the nobility. There's another obelisk. And that's the castle. This we always see these round things next to the aristocracy. So there's the Rhine going to Germany. I think the other side is now still Switzerland. And uh, the Rhine file in Schaffhausen at the German border.
bisschen feuchtig ist. Octagon. Octagon. And Swissy controls all key positions. Lucius Wildhaber, director of the Human Rights Court Commission in Strasbourg, Carla del Ponte, and uh, director of the International Court in The Hague, Dick Marty, the United Nations director on torture and crimes against humanity. Oh, what a joke! And Joseph Dice, the head of the United Nations in New York, and all Swiss going for the international key positions so they can block all incoming against the motherland. Yeah, there he is, Lucius Wildhaber, a judge from Basel, Baal, you know, like in Baalbeck. He was the first president of the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. Can you imagine, he is shaking the hands with Vladimir. And I, there was between, for almost 10 years he was the president, you know. The Swiss are not even European. Here it says Strasbourg, the Council of Europe. How is this possible? You know, for this is inadmissible that the Swiss control the key positions in and for Europe and for uh, mankind. You know, I told you, they rule the world. They're everywhere. And that was between 98 and 2007. Well, I tell you, they started putting me in prison in 1997, here, that's 17 years ago. And um, I was here, they put me in prison here, 98, during the Kosovo War. So then I started to write letters to the, to the, the European Court of Human Rights. I went up personally, about three or four times, in 2001, after they kidnapped my boy in 2002. Well, that was exactly the time when this Swissy was the director. Well, you want to know the answer? And my case was treated by a Swiss lady, Madame Iseli. Well, and this is what they do. They all block all incoming against Switzerland. These criminal Swiss liars. I, to I told you, they rule the world. And there's something more at this. Have a close look at this symbol here. I don't know what it says. It looks weird. All these things around. Ah, there's a, uh, the scales of, the, of justice. <laughs> what a joke. This is inadmissible. Yeah, you see, they're even portraying themselves as being just. They control it all. These are the Templars. Oh, what a shame, you know. Hey, here's another one. Dick Marty, well he's of a rightist party, or do you know? The Parliament, Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. Well, what are these Swisses doing, you know? I told you, they control Europe. They do. So he's another lawyer, just as the other one. He was a state prosecutor. <laughs> United States Department of Justice against drugs. Well, I tell you, Switzerland is, you know, all drugs in Europe, they all pass Switzerland. It, it comes in, in Switzerland. And he was appointed to lead an investigation for the Council of Europe into alleged illegal CIA secret prisons. Well, you think he did something? <laughs> no, he did not. So that was in 2005. Oh, you can read the whole article here. Well, oh, that's Swissy. They're everywhere. This is the um, the shadow government. Yeah, and then they, he just wrote some books, you know, secret detentions, illegal transfers, and all etc. You know, they get rich of it. You know, that's what they do. He never did anything. 
Yeah, prosecution for assisting suicide. Oh, well. He's a uh, rapporteur special on euthanasia. Well, in Switzerland, you know, th this is where the euthanasia is legal. So how, how, how is it possible they're going to put this guy here from Switzerland on that position? It says key commissions, finance commission. Well, it's all Swissy all over. Uh, look at his face. See his eyes? What is what is he looking at? The tip of his nose or what? Yeah, it's the same picture. Can anybody tell me what he's looking at? Is there a fly on his nose here? Oh yes, there's a little fly. Oh, this is what he's looking at. Okay. I mean, well, I mean, this says it all. Ah, here's another Swissy. I mean, <laughs> this is what the Swissies really look at, look like. You know, just look at the, look at their faces. You know, so he was, she was a prosecutor for the International Criminal Tribunal, for and the International Criminal. Rwanda and Yugoslavia, um, etc. In in the Hague, the European Parliament, another Swissy in the European Parliament. Yeah, organ trafficking. Well, it all goes through the Swiss banks. We all know this. Yeah. Yeah. Born in Switzerland. They all are. And. Uh, she was even the ambassador ambassador to Argentina. She also had to do with the NATO and the inter oh it sounds nice independent international commission for inquiry and high commissioner for human rights oh it sounds nice eh and Switzerland can do what they want the Serbs really like this one you know she she gave the Serbs the um, the final final blow in the back stab in the back by Swissy yeah, European Parliament I mean what are these Swissies doing in the European Parliament they're not even member of uh, of Europe how <laughs> we want to profit uh, here another Swissy president of the United Nations uh, General Assembly in 2010 it's all Swissy, all over again, all over, everywhere. There's probably a lot more, but I don't even want to read it all. I mean, it says it all, eh? The International Wallenberg Foundation, well, Switzerland, <laughs> finance Adolf Hitler, now they're in the Raoul Wallenberg Association. What a joke, you know, just as Lenin said, and Lenin spent a long time in Switzerland, and that's where he got it from. Spent almost 10 years in Switzerland. You know, if you want to control the opposition, the best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. So that's what they do, and they go smiling, you know. Lenin probably was Swiss, they probably spoke Swiss German, just like Kim Jong un, or whatever his name was. Well, it's all in Wikipedia, and there are more of them. This is just a few. There he is again, Lucius Wildhaber. It says human rights. Well, how dare they? They kill so many people here and terror. They finance all the wars with their Swiss banks. You see the uh, European stars here? How dare they? They control Europe. Wake up, you know. Look, look at their faces. Probably both of them are Swiss. So he's been the pre he was the president of the director of the Human Rights Council in Strasbourg in Europe for 10 years a Swissy when I went there to drop a complaint wow the answer. Look, and you've got those same lean Obama Obama hands you know pharaonic this is not European it's not broad hands you know it's and this guy had my had my files in his hands in 2001. He said, "No, this is not good for Switzerland." You know, call the call the Swiss police while he was working in Strasbourg 
for the human rights. He probably said, well, call the Swiss police. Go terrorize them. He, should, he shouldn't talk too much about our clean Switzerland. There he is again, the President of the General Assembly, a Swiss, in New York, with the United Nations behind it. And they will never do anything for the world, or for, for justice, never. Uh, they just want to settle, you know, to pay more police, the, uh, the oppression structures, more money for the army so they can oppress the people, that's what they do, that's what the United Nations do. And it's all Swiss. This, these are very high positions. And they're all taken by Swiss. Joseph Dice. He was, he was one of the seven presidents too in Switzerland. And the beast had seven heads and ten crowns. There he is, working for NATO. Dick Marty. Switzerland is not in the NATO. But they control, they are the head of NATO, believe me, they are the Templars. How come this Swissy here, the cross-eyed one here, these Swiss devils, and these are very high position people, very high positions. There he is again, Dick Marty, look at the claw he's making, you know, he's like, we Swissy, we're going to take it all, that's what he's saying. This is the E of Europe with the European stars, you know, blue and yellow, all ruled by the Swiss. There she is again, Carla del Ponte, another Swissy. I don't know what it is really, if it's a bloke or a woman or whatever. I, I you can't really see. Really black eyes. United Nations, you know, the. the, the the International Court Prosecutor, on all key positions they are. It's inadmissible. With all the human rights uh, uh, with all the killings and murder and torture going on in Switzerland. And they all protect Switzerland. Maybe my friend Marino Delfino can do a vid about their eyes of these four persons. This is what Swissy really looks like, you know. They can smile real, you know, real charming. But this is what they really, you, you can see them everywhere like this, these typists. And there she is again, real charming. I could do a horror, horror movie with that one. And there she is again, Swissy. And this guy's probably Serb, and they don't like her very much. First NATO and the Swissies, they dropped bombs and, and depleted uranium, a lot of cancer in Serbia. And then they, they do the rest of the stabbing, getting all the Serbs into the international court, while Switzerland finances it all. Well, and there are lots of pictures and videos on these persons on all key positions it's all Swiss believe me maybe the actual status has changed a little bit and probably even more Swissies now have taken key positions for and rather against humanity and always protecting that Swiss Mafia at all costs and strangely at the very spot my savior youtuber paid for my freedom and for my life, probably, it showed the phoenix rising from the ashes. So there's the phoenix with the fire here in Schaffhausen. And there's the, the sun hieroglyph twice. Here's one. And there's another one. So this is, well, I mean, uh, Pharaonic Freemasons. And there's the, the railway station. <coughs> 